you know, too many times you get into a situation where you're right up on shore and you end up spooking the place with the boat because of well, the sun. It's at your back, it's on your side, and it's casting a shadow. You gotta watch where your shadow lies on the water because on these clear water conditions, you can see the fish, they see you, they're gone. And you wanna watch your, your sonar. Once you've, uh, once you've found the fish, that's when you can uh, start moving in and establish a pattern. Right now, I've, been, I've done two or three passes with uh, just a, a large uh, spinnerbait, just a single blade spinnerbait. Now I'm gonna change it up to uh, what I think is going to work best for me, and that's uh, one of these Northland jawbreakers. All right, so I'm gonna change it up, and we'll be right back, and hopefully uh, we can uh, pull one out of the the group, pull one out of the group that we've been spotting. The water temperature today, surface-wise, was between 68 in the shade and out in some of the open water it got as high as 72. For all outside temperature, went from 16 degrees and to a matter of 25 degrees Celsius in a matter of two, three hours. So the weather is definitely a factor out here. There's another front moving in shortly, you'll probably get some rain uh, midweek. So there's a lot of factors when establishing a pattern. Uh, weather trumps everything, as we know. But uh, we did see fish, and uh, it's just a matter of sticking to marked fish. Keep going over that area. Work the bait until the bait pays off. It's Ben McQuinney with Ben McQuinney Outdoors. Stay tuned. So the presentation that we're using today didn't go the way we wanted to, marked lots of fish, got two incidental smallmouth bass, but uh, it's all about sticking with the presentation. Once you've, once you've figured out what you want to fish, stick with it. Don't change up because if you start getting strikes, it means that's the presentation you should be going with. Now it's a matter of modifying that presentation, whether it be speed, color, weight, what have you. A profile trailer or smaller, uh, those are the things to consider once you've established a pattern, once you start getting reaction strikes. Till next time, this is Ben McQuinney from Ben McQuinney Outdoors. We'll see you on the water.